Welcome to the Nightcap. It's your girl, Carolina Sanchez, and it's Girls Night. Ew. All right, we had the fellas over because we were talking about setting the mood in the bedroom. Now, we always think about men getting things hot and heavy for the ladies. But what do the ladies have to do for the men? I'm gonna have to get the girls, you know, libated up. So I've got Courtney here from Boozer's Bartending and you have a cocktail for us. Yes, we have a honey ginger whiskey sour. Ooh, okay, <laughs> I'm gonna have to try this and make it with you later. Are you down? Yes, for sure. Oh, perfect. All right, well, I've got the ladies ready to talk and the doctor's in the building. So let's get into it. Yeah, what's up for a nightcap? Chill, you know, kick back. All right, let's dive into this girl chat, shall we? We've got Winnie in the building for the first time. Welcome, hey. welcome. <laughs> we have our girl Cindy Burbano back. Hey, hi. How are you, Carol? <laughs> We're doing great. And we've got the beasting in the building, Hello. and this time without her boo, because we're going to be talking about the mood just set. Me. Just All me. right, ladies. I feel like when you hear about setting the mood, it's typically the men who have to set the mood for the ladies. But do y'all have any tips, tricks, moves that you do for your partners? Yeah, absolutely. Definitely do. Yes. We immediately do. A little something. A little something. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to spill all the beans, but you know, let me know. Set I mean, I got a whole playlist, so. <gasps> oh, okay. okay. I have a whole playlist. I have lights in my place. You know, oh. I like to set it. Okay. All the way. Can you share the playlist? <laughs> oh, I definitely can. I definitely can. It's called can Nighttime. Oh, 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 that's uh, nice. Okay. All right. Has been played in a minute, but you know, yeah. But it's that's there. What you do. It's, it's there. there. That's it's important. There. So right. that's at important. what point do you start the playlist? Like, is it during dinner? Is it during drinks? Is it as soon as you arrive? Oh, as soon as they arrive. Okay. Because before you know, they even yeah, arrive. Yeah. Because it's like I already know what you know. If I want something, I'm a, I'm not gonna play no games. You know. <laughs> right. We know why you're here. Right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so um, I definitely like to play it coming in. Okay. That's Cindy. Nice. Oh my gosh. You know. You know. I'm a little extra. Uh, extra. Girl, so girl, yes. I love to set. Well, I love to um, set the mood in general. I don't expect my husband, my my boyfriend, my anything to do it. I want to be able to Same. do it. Okay, yeah. so for example. Wait, I hold just, on, hold on. I have to explore this. You prefer to set the mood over your partner. Oh, too. yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. a thousand I percent. I have like a standard mood. Yes. Right? Yes. And for he me, just see, that. he's physical. I'm mental. Mm. I need exactly. to be there. So exactly. I know what's really going to, yeah. you know, get me in the mood. So I went and I bought a massage table. Ooh. So I got a whole thing. I mean, she and I have a great massage. I got the hot stones. I, mind you, I almost burned down the house because I put it in the <laughs> microwave in a towel. And then all of a sudden, I'm like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it's like steaming, it's steaming. I didn't know, well, I didn't know. Now I learned. And then, it, and then I try to put it on his back, and he's screaming. I mean, that that one time wasn't sexy, but you then I perfected. Yeah, that's <laughs> I perfected. Next time. So yeah. I got the right oils. Yeah. Ooh. I put the right music. You know, it's meditation music. You're kind of like that zen. Um, I got this whole thing. He puts his head down. I cover his eyes. So then I, oh, you know, I do the, the whole. Move. Yes. Okay. And you course, said I'm extra and Cindy. meant it. I'm not Cindy. Every oh time it's a different name. So it's like, hello, this is Sabrina. Ooh. Nice. Is, is there any word you would want me to work? On yes, my legs are a little sore. I'm telling you, baby. Know, yes. baby. 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 I, I'm telling you, I go all out. But that I love that that role play, that whole thing, and mm. I'm of course dressed up and the whole. I mean, I go, I go. Oh, lingerie. Go we need to bring that back. Like I definitely yes. feel like as women, we need to have lingerie just for yourself, but also for your partner mm -hmm. as well too. Yes. And I also feel like as women, we pay attention to the little things mm. that matter. And I feel like just men, sometimes they don't pay attention they to don't that. Pay so attention it's like, you know, music. you want the right music, you want the right wine, yes. you know, you want the certain lights to set the mood. Cause mm -hmm. baby, when that red light hits the skin, honey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Not the red light special. I'm just All saying. Right, <laughs> um, for me, I definitely like setting the mood. It's like an everyday occurrence for me, candles, like yes. I mean, if nobody things. follows Beasting here, you must. You oh, are a do. mood setter. I mean, I just, know. you are a curator of you know. spaces, of social, of yeah. everything. So, yeah. so yes. it's like, it's a standard thing for me, but if I want him, mm. I, there are certain things. We have a certain candle. 
that's like our red light. Mm. So we can use that. Um, I'm into bubble baths, but he is as well. So I like to cater to my man, like Destiny's Child. So I will set the candles out in the bathroom, get his stuff together. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah. Oh, yes. You know, you gotta cater to your man too. Facts. Of course. Um, Facts. I'm not big on lingerie. I don't know if it's like a married woman thing. I don't mind spicing it up, but there are certain like two piece sets with the cheeks out that just set it all. It don't have to be a whole lot. Well, those two, mm. those work too. Yeah. Get with the little, you know, got the little whatever yeah. whatever is fringes on those yeah. were too it don't gotta be a whole lingerie yeah but just something sexy especially when you spend a hundred fifty two hundred dollars and they ripping it yeah. and it's like okay well because well, they gonna buy it again because yeah, so mine doesn't care it's better people so. like that's cute but i don't care about that take it off so it's like yeah but like, it feels good for us mm. but, but in I, some, no, well i've had this conversation actually with my partner about the whole lingerie thing yeah. and he told me it is more exciting for a man to see a woman in lingerie because it lets your mind kind of like that wonder. go wonder yeah. and like what's there because i was the one that was like full on naked i'm like i'm here in heels you know and mm -hmm. he's like I mean, that's cute and all, <laughs> like that works, but like, you know, give me a little something, something. where I don't see mystery. it all mystery. Yeah. And then, then then I started doing mm. the whole lingerie thing, mm -hmm. which I love now, because I just love to dress up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Girl, you get the maid outfits, the nurse outfits, the little cheetah outfits, oh, the, silk, yes. the little role play. Okay, yeah, I, role I'm play, taking yes. notes because <laughs> my husband has <laughs> always been the one who set the mood. My husband's the one who gets the lights. He's the one who gets the candles. He'll set the bubble bath. Mm -hmm. And oh, now that we have a toddler, things have slow down yeah. and I have not picked up and now I'm seeing how excited y'all are and mm -hmm. how it's really a mood that you're setting for yourself yeah. Yeah. that I need to start doing this okay I'm mental. messing things mentally, up like yeah, you yes, said. it's very much it. a mental thing for women yeah. yeah as compared to men like they're like, they're like a, a they flip a switch and it's like oh I'm here yeah. I'm ready yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, like us we gotta like you know we gotta get simmer in, on the pot yeah. for a little bit yeah, yeah. 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 but also too I think also, too, like, setting that up and as a woman, it's like, oh, yeah, I did that. This is my mm -hmm. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So, and, and, like, the type of woman I am, I'm an alpha woman, but I can be submissive. So, yes. I think I have my alpha moments, like, now nah, this is my time. Mm -hmm. Let me take care of you, because I know you're going to take care of me. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Right, listen, you better take care at home and watch a few ads and stay right there, because more of the Nightcap comes up next. And we've got Dr. Viviana joining us. We've got every episode of the Nightcap and we can go for hours. Download the Fox Local app on any of the following smart TV platforms and get in on the fun. Welcome back to the Nightcap. We're having a girls' night talking about setting the mood for our fellas. We've got Winnie here, Cindy Beasting, and joining us is Dr. Hi. Viviana Coles, hey, lady. sex Hi. therapist and our intimacy expert. All right, you heard the ladies. You were all set <laughs> listening in. What did you think? Ladies. Bow down! Yes. 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 Oh my gosh! <laughs> Yo, y'all had me thinking. My poor husband. <laughs> Baby, that's what I was thinking. I was, I, 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 was, I was literally like, wow, I've been working so hard on things for other couples. Mm. I need to work on some of this. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, sometimes it's great to not like do the whole foreplay thing mm -hmm. and whatever. And the truth is my husband, he's, he gets me going very quickly. But it's, yeah, the, the seduction needs to happen. And um, all of you had wonderful points and, and unique ways of just kind of saying, I'm here for you. But I will tell you mm. what I love the most, forget about what's happening in the bedroom, it's what was happening before. Mm. Yeah. You came to this with the mindset, you're in that sexy space, whether it's to hype yourself up or looking forward to what's happening mm -hmm. in the future. Mm -hmm. um, I love that, that is the key. That's the key to setting the mood for women is to be prepared and hype yourself up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Setting the mood for women. See, what I'm hearing here is that y'all set the mood for yourselves, yeah. not for the men, which yeah. is what is necessary. So uh, the other day I had the fellas here to talk about setting the mood for the ladies. Before we dive into this, I need to hear what your current relationship status is. So Winnie? I'm single. You're single? Yes. You've been in a long-term relationship in the past? Absolutely, yes. Okay. Cindy? Oh, I'm very taken. Very taken. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, girl. Okay. Dang. Very married. <laughs> I'm in the street. No, 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 no,
they had quick answers, a lot of the music, the, the vibes, and the flirtation for when they're dating. Mm -hmm. Then I switched it to long-term relationships. When the women are tired, they're dealing with the kids, mm -hmm. they got their boss going down their neck, they've got deadlines, they're picking up after the men. Okay. How can a man truly set the mood for you? Personally, speaking to like having kids and all that stuff, I need to not think. Oh, mm -hmm. so That's whatever, facts. if I don't have to worry about dishes, the house needs to be cleaned, the kid yeah. needs to be picked up from school or whatever it may be, turn my brain off. Facts. Mm -hmm. So I can focus on you. Exactly. That's the key for me. Like, okay. if I ain't got to worry about nothing. Take on the responsibility. Yeah, just... like I think all day, I'm always doing something. When you see like the videos on TikTok, like clean the kitchen, that's so sexy to me. You Facts. take the trash out. I love it. <laughs> I feel hot. Chore like, porn. Chore porn. Chore porn. I think, yes. 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 We need to see. Or, uh, we, need, we have a video just dedicated to this. Let me see if this man set the mood for his woman. So shut your mouth and run me like a river. Baby, you said how many folds? Yes, perfection. That is going to fit in the closet. And, well. and, and the yeah. eye contact. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Seduce me while you fold a towel. Yes. I love it. But I have to piggyback on what she said. Like, you have to turn my mind off. Like, let me relax. Like, because we're working mm -hmm. and so forth. And I don't have kids. I'm not married. But I, with my job, I'm tensed every day. So I want to relax. I want to breathe. I want to exhale. So it's like, you do the little things. Oh, yeah. baby. Mm. Mm. The paint is coming off. For me, it's, for me, it's a little bit different because I am in a relationship where my um, better half, other half, <laughs> he's very um, about me. Mm. Uh, he rather satisfy me than me satisfy him. Like he's that 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 he turns he's him on. The giving and he is so very very. Yeah. So for me, it's like he's always like good to make sure that I'm taken care of. He. I mean, he knows exactly what to do because he loves to see me, I guess, in pleasure or happy and take that up. But he takes the initiative. And I'm sometimes I'm like, oh, stop, I just want to go to sleep. Like, I'm the one that sometimes is more trying to push him mm -hmm. off, but he's very willing. Mm -hmm. and li I like that. We love, love a willing man. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, we got to talk a little bit more. All right, you stay right there. We'll be right back with the nightcap. We've got every episode of The Nightcap and we can go for hours. Download the Fox Local app on any of the following smart TV platforms and get in on the fun. Welcome back to The Nightcap. We're talking about setting the mood with the ladies tonight. We've got Winnie, Cindy, Beasting, and Dr. Viviana Coles. Okay, you were telling us during the break, Winnie, that a man has not ever set the mood for you? Nope, I have not had a man set a mood since my boyfriend in college. It's always me. But see, that, that's me. where I feel like there might be a problem because I feel like sometimes men um, don't understand us. So yeah. maybe they're trying to set the mood and they think they're doing it. Maybe yeah. a guy like lit a candle and you thought, and then he that's thought it. that was like, like, yeah. that's like oh, did I leave that on? Yeah, exactly. Let me blow it out. <laughs> yeah, that's me. what I think. Yeah. Yeah. But I also feel like, and, and don't don't fight me with this because I know you like to tell. So I just feel like people don't take the time to observe the people that they're with. They don't mm -hmm. take the time to observe to learn women them. and mm -hmm. to learn us and yeah. so forth. Like I, I feel like they that's that's a big key that's missing yeah. in today's dating world because like you should know like. I'm a woman where I don't want to have to tell you everything. Yeah. I just want you to be able to But I feel like that's it. just women in general, right, Dr. V? Yeah, I, I think one of the things that we were talking about that guys night, because I totally crashed their guys night, is that I think for a lot of them, they don't necessarily want to go through the whole seduction if you're just not in the mood, because they don't want to, I, I hate to say it, they don't want to like waste it, you know? <laughs> and get rejected. So, and get rejected, yeah. and then have to kind of start over the next night. So it's almost like a lot of men will give a little bit of like a, a clue that they're into it, yeah. and if you're not biting, then they're like, okay, eject, eject. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Not we're erect. Gonna say, we're I gonna was gonna say that. erect, erect. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's like the microwave era, though, where it's like, I want to do one thing, push a button, and then, like, you're turned on. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. no, like, season me. More. Yeah. You, you know, gotta, like, you let me get, marinate Get a this bit. going, and then this will start flowing very just yeah. going. But I, for me personally, I need to be stimulated yes. and, like, hit up here mm -hmm. for here. Because especially when people are like, oh, I'm 
be nasty. I'm like, ew, no, you're not. That's, <laughs> that's Let's put it out there yeah. into the universe for you. What would get you in the mood? Yes. If, if you could have somebody. Like y'all said chores. Said yeah, yeah, yeah. But truly. Like, truly, let's say your chores are done. Your let's say chores. you got yeah. the maid. Let's say yeah. the house is pristine and everything's done. Yeah. And you don't have anything to do at home. But you're really not feeling it. There's no emotional connection or physical connection because y'all haven't established it, what would establish it for you? I think for me, if we don't have physical or emotional connection, then it's kind of like, why are we, what are we doing then? Because if we don't have that, then. Well, no, no, no. I, know mean, I mean, like. In the moment. In the moment. Like, yeah. right? Like you've Before been disconnected. You've been playing. Pa- right. What's, what's going on? Again, I always talk, it's pillow talk, but what would give, what would give you that sense of we're connecting centrally and this could turn into it's something more? Mm-hmm. I think it's, Actually, I'm gonna skip that question. I don't know. How to answer. I'm gonna, t- I'm gonna <laughs> tell you. I'm gonna okay. tell you what might work, which work, which I do. I start it earlier in the day, so I start the fun, sexy texting. See, but that's you doing. No, it. yeah, but I'm, maybe that will work for her. If the guy starts texting her earlier, like, "Hey, babe, you look. At, I've been thinking about you." Like saying these things about, like, like kind of make it. See you, can't wait, wait to see you. That, that would start see, something. Because yes. when you start it earlier in the day, it's not just like I'm here and now. This is what I'm doing yeah. because that doesn't work. You, you know? don't know what I went through through work. Right, I'm but then tired. during the day, yeah. you're kind of like already kind of massaging to try mm-hmm. to get in in it, you know, and kind of maybe just say some really cute yeah. things, or sexy things as well that, too. Right. Yeah. And then when you are in the moment, then you can get seduced yeah. easier. I, I believe maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, but if you have a day. busy day, I agree with you, but say like you have a busy day, maybe you can't be on your phone like sending texts and stuff. Um, I think just like light touches. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like maybe we're like we cooking dinner or whatever it yes. may be, yeah. but take a moment to actually like be in the moment. Yes. Mm-hmm. It's like, I know what you're trying to say. I may not be there yet, but give me one more rub and I'm like, and okay. I'm going to yeah. be there. <laughs> you know? <laughs> it's not the honk, honk, grab, grab. No. Yeah. No. It's yeah. sensual. Yeah. Like, well, the, guys need to, <laughs> yeah. the guys need to be watching this episode. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Can't go like yeah. from zero to a hundred. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Every day. Yeah. Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes you know. Ladies, <laughs> y'all. <laughs> y'all are spectacular. Listen, uh, y'all know how to set a mood. Oh, some, some of y'all are empty. We got to refill this. Okay, listen. Coming up next, I'm heading behind the bar because we got Boozer's bartending here, and she's going to show me how to make this delicious cocktail. Stay right there. We'll be right back. We've got every episode of the Nightcap, and we can go for hours. Download the Fox Local app on any of the following smart TV platforms and get in on the fun. Welcome back to the Nightcap. I'm behind the bar now. We discuss setting the mood and nothing helps like some <laughs> liquor, baby. I've got Courtney Boozer here from Boozer's Bartending and you're here to do what? Back that glass up. Okay, can I tell you the ladies love this cocktail? Mm-hmm. Within the first five minutes, they were done. Okay. Okay, that don't happen <laughs> often. So what exactly is this? So we're going to be making a honey ginger whiskey sour. Honey ginger whiskey sour. Mm-hmm. I mean, that combo sounds amazing. Okay, mm-hmm. and it is amazing. All right, so how do I make it? So first, we're gonna get ice to our shaker. Okay. So do you prefer to, to do it in the big tin or the little tin? I, it doesn't matter to me. Okay. Because you're gonna end up shake, pouring it all in and shake it together. Oh, okay. So after that, we're gonna sugar our rim. Ooh. So we have some honey and we have some cinnamon and brown sugar. So we're gonna twirl our glass in on that honey, and then we're gonna turn it around. And we're gonna twirl in our sugar. Oh, she said turn around, turn around. Sounds there you like, go, there you know, we go. Some setting the mood. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so now we're gonna start with our ingredients. We're okay. gonna do a half ounce of Uncle Nearest whiskey. We're gonna do an ounce and a half. Up oh, to ounce and a half. Mm-hmm. I thought you said a half ounce. I'm, there we go. I ain't Boom. listening. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do our ginger syrup. Is that what this is? Actually, that is our, well, that's this the syrup. Is yes, mm-hmm. there we go. We're gonna turn it around, flip okay. it over, do mm-hmm. the smaller, and we're gonna do half an ounce okay. of the syrup. Mm-hmm. Pour that in there, and we're gonna do a half an ounce of our honey mix. Ooh. So just two of those. Bada bing, bada boom. boom. There we go. Okay. And then we're gonna toss that into our larger end, hit it on the bottom, and we're gonna shake it up. All right, perfect, 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 perfect. Perfect. talk to me. Where can people book you? What do you do? So yes, I have a mobile bar company. I have a staff of 20. We come out and we bring the bar to you. I also do bar staffing for festivals as well as mixology classes. Well, can you teach me how to do this? I mess this up every time. <laughs> you gotta time. hit it, hit it, hit it. 
Oh. Hit it hard. Oh. There we go. Lord, the strength had to come out there. <laughs> I don't want to be that strong in the bedroom, okay? You know, I'm wanna... gonna go ahead and we're gonna strain it. Let's get a strainer over here. Here we go, right here, right behind us. <laughs> Boom. All right. And, and then we we're strain. Gonna strain it into our in our martini glass. Lord Jesus. There we go. You got Getting it. Strain. Pour it in there. Ooh. Okay, so Yay. so when they want to come, um, when they want to book you, where do they go, baby? You can go to my website. It's uh, www.boozesbartending.com. All right, ladies. <laughs> Y'all know how to set the mood, Yay. fellas. I hope you learn what to do. Cheers to you. We'll see you guys next Cheers. time. <laughs>